Hello everyone, it's Vanessa from Apple Patch Cooking and Craft and we're up to block number 39 and 40 which means after this there's only eight more to go four more weeks to get all the blocks done okay so this week we have got another one of the um, big triangle blocks and this one I have called, I've actually called it Stepped Hourglass. It didn't have a name, so that's why I've called it. So it's an hourglass blocks, just with some background or some other fabric with them. So here's my little hourglass block. So you can either make these as individual, cut individual quarter square triangle units, or you can use the method where you draw the line so on the other side of the fabric, cut them apart, and that's the make two at once method. So I've included both methods in the instruction. And to put it together, you are literally sewing squares, alternating hourglass block square in a row with a triangle on the end. Same as you did for um, a couple of these other blocks. So. That is that one. The other one that you're doing is a modified double nine patch. So, oops, this is what it looks like. And hopefully you can, oh, I'm getting some glare there. Hopefully you can see the black lines where I've divvied this up into a nine patch. Now, there are more than one ways to skin a proverbial cat. And there's more than one way to make this block. So in my instructions, I'm giving two options. You can either cut all the individual little squares and then sew them together, or you can do strip piecing. And how you sew them together, I've given the instructions to sew them together into little mini nine patches. And you might remember we did a mini nine patch block. Oh, I can't remember what week it was now, where we made lots of these little guys. So same thing with this, but the, the set, uh, middle blocks around the outside are only a partial nine patch. So we've got three squares sewn together and then sewn onto a rectangle, which is what this little guy is here. So as I say, I've written the instructions to join it together as a nine patch. You do also have the option of doing it more as full rows. So for instance, you can join the first two rows together of the little squares um, for both sides and then join them together with the rectangle. And then you can do a full row of small squares. So you can put it together in a few different ways, um, but I've just stuck with doing it as a nine patch unit. In the instructions for um, doing it with strip piecing, um, I have suggested what direction to press your seams if you are pressing to the side. And that's to try and get them to interlock with the ones that go next to the rectangle as well. Um, but I suggest once you've made your little strip units and cut them apart, lay everything out and just double check which way your seams are going if you're pressing to the side. If you're pressing open, it's a moot point. Don't have to worry about it. Um, so hopefully these two little blocks will um, not cause you too much heartache, um, but we do have a few more, slightly more difficult blocks to come in the next month. So have fun and um, happy stitching. Bye.